Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're in Acts 17, 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Listen, we hear the gospel. We understand that God sent his only son to die for us. We fall in love with Jesus. You say We say, Jesus, I believe that you die for me. Come into my life. Forgive my sins. But when do we start acting like God's offspring? When do we start acting like his children? When do we start choosing his words? Choosing the right attitude? Choosing the right things that will lead people to God? That will lead people to Jesus? We don't want to blend in with the world. The enemy is using music, movies, games to lead people, to lead the youth to death. But when we stand out and we choose different things and we choose kind words and we choose to forgive, that's what we share with the world. And that's what's going to steer something in them to say, hey, you know what? I want what you have. I want that peace that you have. And we bring him to Jesus. We don't want to blend in with the world. We have to stand out. That's the only way the people around you will know about Jesus. Because if that's not what you're doing, you're leading people to confusion. Because they're wondering, wait a minute, but this one goes to church. Why is he listening to this stuff? Why is he um, going to those places? People are watching. People are seeking for people that are true, that are authentic. And the only way you can be like that, it's following Jesus. I was so fake. You know, I was so hypocrite. I would say whatever people wanted to, to hear. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. It was horrible. But I cry out to God every day, Jesus, show me to be authentic. Show me, teach me to choose you, to choose truth. So hey, again, be different. Think about it. Be encouraged. God bless you.